Suarez to be honest, you know. But I just like I've not really had that that male figure in it. But I know that one guy, my mentor, my mentor I have, she's very persistent, very honest and very serious. I don't really know what a good father is, but I know that this guy is a good father because he's he takes care of his, he takes care of his responsibility. And um yeah, that's basically I don't really know what a good father is, but I know good from bad male you know, figures. A good father, in my view, is someone who, who believes in their children regardless of what. He's always there for their children, regardless of what. Tells their children every single day, without fail, I love you. I trust you. I'm looking out for you. I will guide you. I will scold you when you need scolding. I will do it, but I will always be there for you. He's responsible and takes care of his kids. Emotionally, oh, physically, everything. He protects. He's there to protect oh. his child. You know, oh. just support, support, and you know, oh. raise. A man that doesn't feel away in the kitchen, he can help out. Especially when he knows his wife's had a long day, he can help out. And it also shows that his children, boys and girls, that it is equal. Um, has a listening ear. Um, is a is a provider. It's very important to provide for your children, you know, um, and talk to work hard. Um, and when you do that, obviously your children can see what you do as an example. They can see that you know that you that you know things don't just magically appear. You know, th they're, they're, there's a process in there that there has to be some work to uh, you know provide all the things that they need. Consistency, um, unconditional love. No, you can't touch that. And I'm going to explain to him why you can't touch that. Son, if you touch this over here, look, it might fall down and bop you on your head. And then you go blind. So you see, I'm teaching him the good things. And that's what enough fathers used to do, need to do. What happens a lot of the times as well is fathers don't communicate with their children. Communication's key. I know when I was young, I had the balance, I had my mum and dad as well. But um, there was quite often where my dad will say something to me. I will say, but why? Don't ask me why, why, or uh, why is a letter of a long tail? Meaning, you know, he ain't got the time for a long passa passa story. So what I'll do is, you know what, let me go and find out from somewhere else what the story is. So my dad didn't get the opportunity to, um, you know, give me his morals and values and standards and principles. I'll get it from somewhere else. He has to know himself before he becomes a father. Someone who loves, cherishes, protects um, the family and that's the family including the children, the wife, um, someone that will remain with the family and has good communication is a man who takes responsibilities, it's a man who regardless of what he had going on before he had his children, puts his children first, provides for his children, guides them, protects them. If he has sons, he teaches how, how to be a man, how to respect women, how to respect himself as a man out there going out into the world. Supports his sons, protects his daughters, but protects them responsibly. Um, he's an advisor. Uh, do it yourself, philosophy. This is what you and I need to do.